Okay, when we're doing these systems of inequalities, we need a game plan. And here's our game plan. First, what we're gonna do is we're gonna graph equals. Okay. Then we're gonna determine whether or not our line is dashers, dashers, or solid. Okay. Then we're gonna pick a point and we're gonna test that point to see which way we're gonna shade. All right. If it's a true value, you shade towards it. If it's a false value, you shade away from it. Then we're gonna shade and repeat. Okay, yeah. All right, so I've drawn a nice system for you. I'm looking up here. It appears I have three X plus two Y is smaller than six. In addition to that, I'm gonna have two X minus seven Y is bigger than or equal to 14. So we're going to follow our game plan. So we need a game plan. And here's our game plan. First, what we're going to do is we're going to graph equals. When I say that, what I'm talking about is let's pretend, pretend, yeah, that this inequality symbol is an equal sign. Okay, so maybe over on the side, you could have 3x plus 2y is equal to 6. Yeah, I'm graphing the white one. This thing appears that it's going to lend itself to x and y intercepts. A nice way to graph using x and y intercepts is let x be 0 and what's y? When we divide by 2, we see y going to be 3. Tee hee, tee hee. So I can go and I can put a dot right here. That y is equal to 3. Yes. And then if I do the same thing and try to find the x intercept by letting y equal 0, I'm going to find that x is going to be 2. Okay, so then here, my x will be two. Yeah. Now I need to determine whether or not it's dashers, dashers, or solid. This one's definitely dashed. Why? Because it doesn't have the equal two. See how this is strictly less than? Mm-hmm. So then, I'm gonna graph a dash line through those points. Connect the dots, la 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 la. Connect the dots, ha <laughs> ha. Now I'm on to my next step. Yeah. Um, my next step, I need to pick a point. I need to pick a point, any point. A nice point to pick is the origin. Provided your line doesn't go through the origin, it's a nice point to pick. All right, so the origin's at zero, zero. So I'm testing, I'm testing this point right here. Yeah, I'm testing zero, zero, the origin. I'm gonna plug it back up into the original. Three times zero plus two times zero. Is that smaller than six? Hmm, let me see. Is zero smaller than six? Yeah, zero is smaller than six. That's a true statement. So I'm gonna to shade towards that point. I'm gonna to shade towards the point zero, zero. All right, let's go do, through and do the same thing with blue. On my blue one, I'm gonna graph equals. Once again, this one appears to um, lend itself to x and y intercepts. If I let x or y be zero, x is seven. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. So I can put a dot right there. All right. If I let x be zero, y is gonna be a minus two. So then y is gonna be a a minus two. Now, is this one gonna be solid or is it gonna be dashers, dashers? This one's gonna be solid because of the because of the or equals two. So then I connect the dots. Oh, almost missed it. Connect the dots. La 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 la. Connect the dots. Ha <laughs> ha. Now I need to test a point. Zero zero is a good point to test on this one. So I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna test zero, zero. I'm gonna put it in the blue one. Zero minus zero, well, seven times zero, and two times zero. Is that bigger than or equal to 14? What I wanna know is, is zero bigger than or equal to 14? See, that's a false statement. 
So no, that is not true. So do I shade towards the point or do I shade away from the point? I shade away from the point. I wanna shade everything below that blue line, but I only wanna include this stuff in the overlap. So my solution set is all this stuff down here. All right, so to be clear, it's here. Can you do Wow. 